What's up guys? This is Erkin from HDD Recovery Services. It's about that time that we do another video on one of these drives that we receive very very frequently. And yes, it is a password. This device is not um, fresh. We've been working on this for a little bit and uh, the reason for that is the majority of these passport drives that we receive they come in for two issues number one is a slow response it's like a it's like a epidemic for western digital products right now uh, slow response comes on for a variety of different reasons but main reason is uh, device starts to get degrading heads degrading heads uh, read information slower the drive interprets it as it comes across a lot of bad sectors shortly after the rail list gets uh, too many entries in it and then the drive breaks. Now once that slow response is removed uh, the procedure can go in two different ways. Slow response gets lifted and the drive works on all of the levels. The only downside is that it does not work as a brand new drive. It works with inconsistencies. It works slower in some parts, it works slower with some specific heads for example. Uh, but in other cases, we remove the slow response, but since these drives don't have a single head inside, one of those heads or more than one of those heads can just be completely irresponsive. So what we end up with is a partial image. For example, like this case here, two heads are definitely down. We can't retrieve anything from there. With encrypted data, uh, two missing heads is really gonna... Well, I mean, it's, there's still gonna be some data recovered, but unless we get that whole image, the results are not going to be great, to say the least. What I'm going to attempt to do today is I'm going to use this hard drive here as our donor. As you can see, it's still got its native USB 3.0 interface. The label looks slightly different, but in theory, this drive is fully compatible with this one here. Worst comes to worst, we'll perform quick head adaptation if it needs to be, uh, but uh, I hardly ever run into these situations. So I think we're going to be good to go. If you do have a problem with a hard drive that is made by Western Digital that is not getting uh, recognized by your computer or any other device, uh, feel free to contact us. Our information is below. Uh, you can reach out to us through our website or just call us. Uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video. It does really help uh, for us to grow and make new content and I really do appreciate all you watching this so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this done real quick and then we're gonna pop this on a data extractor and test those heads that we can't read currently because we need to make this image complete once we got it complete the recovery is complete right now we're missing two heads so we can't really give the information back to the customer in this condition it's just not satisfactory enough let's see how that happens So we just finished up our procedure a couple of hours ago. I turned the drive on and uh, it did give me some problems at the beginning, but after messing around uh, with the firmware a little bit, I was able to figure out what the deal was. Uh, we had to fire up the drive uh, using a specific sequence that's been done. Now the drive is on the imager and uh, currently that extractor is working with head number six. As, the, as you can see, the white blocks behind me, that's, these are the um, sections of the drive that we couldn't read before. With the original headset that had 
failed head five and six. Uh, all of the information that was recorded to that drive was trapped. We couldn't read it. Uh, we got everything else though, but on the original set of heads, these are the spots that we couldn't retrieve. So the head replacement that we've performed just before it helped us uh, to gain access to these white areas here. The color of these blocks is uh, <laughs> this weird color as opposed to green because this drive does have hardware encryption and we had to apply decryptive algorithms to um, in order to actually get the data in a viewable form. So it's moving rather uh, slower than I expected, but it's, as long as it's moving uh, steady without skipping too many areas, I'm okay with that. Uh, it may take a little longer for us to image, but we only need to get 160 gigabytes of extra data from here. Uh, that should probably be done before the end of the day, and we should have this case wrapped up for our client. Uh, so I really hope you guys enjoy this presentation. Uh, if you got hard drives that need recovery, feel free to contact us. Information is below. If you're in data recovery, if you have any questions about what I've done and what had to be done, also post your comments, I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, hit like for this video, we'll see you next time.